name is Santosh Kumar and I am the course instructor for Machining Sciences and Tool Design. We are discussing module number 2 that is temperatures in metal cutting and cutting fluids. So in this video we will discuss about cutting fluid types. Okay, so as we know the cutting fluids are used basically for, uh, for a lubricant as a lubricant or a coolant. Uh, which improves the cutting condition and also the tool life so it can be in uh, gaseous form or it can be in uh, a solid a liquid uh, or like solid also so all the three, three forms of lubricants are used so the purpose mainly uh, is to cool so that is uh, first purpose of this one is to cool the tool uh, second purpose is to lubricate it that is to reduce the friction and third pur purpose is to uh, decrease that is decreasing the friction and fourth purpose is to as a, as a cleaner okay these are the uh, purpose why uh, the coolant uh, cutting fluid is used Next, uh, what is the proper? What are the desirable properties? Okay, uh, the cutting fluid should be having a low viscosity. That say because it should uh, uh, lubricate all the parts and so that it should go to the smallest passage which is available. Uh, next, it should have a high flash point. Uh, why? Because it should not get ignited uh, at very low temperatures. Uh, next, it should be stable. Uh, that is, it should not get uh, uh, chemically uh, react with any other uh, substance or a material which it comes in contact with. Uh, next, uh, it should be having a non foaming tendency, non foaming tendency uh, that is, it should not create a form a foam. So, once it is creates a form, it loses its property. So, it should be having a non foaming uh, tendency. Uh, next, it should be having a good lubricating property. See, mainly uh, it should be having a good lubricating property. Uh, next, it should be chemically inert and uh, it should be odorless. Odorless. Uh, that means uh, uh, it should not create any bad smell around the machine tool because uh, operator will be operating. So it should not become, uh, it should not create a bad odor to him so that it will be very uh, difficult to operate the machine tool. Uh, next it should be armless. That should uh, because if uh, operator get comes in contact with the cutting fluid then it should not harm his skin or any other parts. Uh, so this, it, so it basically it should be uh, odorless and armless. So these are uh, the properties or desirable properties of the cutting fluid. So next, uh, uh, if you take the types, uh, we will discuss in this one. So we have a soluble, uh, insoluble. That is, uh, if you take a oil, then in this oil, all the other liquid is not soluble. If you take water, all the other liquid is not soluble in water. For example, oil is insoluble in water. Oil in water is insoluble. Okay, so thus uh, we'll discuss about uh, many other types uh, in the video, in the video, in the slides. So uh, most practical cutting fluids have a mineral or a vegetable oil. So that is, it can be a mineral oil or vegetable oil. Uh, mineral oil uh, being were widely used because uh, because of its ease uh, availability. Because mineral oils are produced by the uh, crude petroleum oils so it is easy to produce so mineral oils are widely used so some of these oils are made of uh, are made to be applied with emulsion with water this is what i was discussing so some oils which is insoluble in water okay so some of these oils are used as emulsion with water that is so it will become an insoluble uh, type of uh, cutting fluid so the remainder uh, are used are used as a neat so that is directly it is used as a mineral oils are directly applied uh, as a plain or other various additive which are soluble inside the with the mineral oil okay so next uh, 
uh, water based uh, cutting fluids are more likely to be used uh, as ice cool high speed uh, cooling regime that is uh, water based cutting fluids that is water as a main uh, uh, liquid and others are as additives so such kind of uh, water based liquid cutting fluids are used for the high speed cooling regime so while the oil based <coughs> liquid fluid are that is oil as a major uh, liquid here so others are additives are opted for low speed uh, lubrication regime so here you should be clear about uh, what is the difference between the neat oils and the emulsion so neat oils are directly applied uh, with the plain or having additives emulsions are insoluble oils okay so in general oil and water emulsions for uh, that is uh, oil emulsion and water emulsion that is in oil there are many other liquids which are not soluble in water there are many other liquids which is not soluble that is called water emulsion are used when cooling uh, action is most important requirement because these emulsions have large heat conducting capacity they need oil so these water emulsions or oil emulsions is having a much uh, large heat conducting capacity than the uh, neat oils so with almost 90% of the machine tools an oil and water emulsion is used next we have a cutting fluid types uh, that is um, neat oils are used for lubricating action neat oils are used uh, when lubricating action is most important uh, they their use is uh, usually confined to slow speed cutting uh, conditions uh, like uh, operations like uh, screw cutting uh, broaching and gear cutting so so to such operations neat oils are used uh, carbon tetrachloride uh, that is ccl4 is one of the most effective cutting fluids known for wide range of work materials at low cutting speeds uh, next we have we can use carbon tetrachloride as a lubricant this appears to be no evidence uh, that either carbon tetrachloride or reaction product with steel exhibits good lubrication action uh, this carbon tetrachloride can be used as a lubricant on uh, lead so lead is the only metal uh, for which ccl4 does not give reduced cutting forces relative to cutting in air so these are the types of cutting fluids uh, this is about uh, this video was about cutting fluid and cutting fluid types so we'll end this video